I took care of my parents as they aged and got sick and died. And for eight years, I was sort of a caregiver for my handicapped brother. And now he's staying with my sister so that I can have a little me time, a little freedom to go and, and just relax, decompress, and enjoy the sunshine, meet with people. Um, and I just, I do it all from this van. Winnebago Travado full time. I'm from Washington State, but I'm visiting here in Quartzsite, Arizona to get in sunshine because it's cold at my hometown. And I've been doing this for a little less than a year, but this is my first major trip following 70 degrees. Um, I'm a widow and my children are grown and I didn't want to sit home just knitting and crocheting and doing nothing for the rest of my life after I retired. I'm out here in the desert meeting people, meeting other women who are in the same kind of vehicle as me and meeting men like you who are out here single as well. I am enjoying my life now. I took care of my parents as they aged and got sick and died. And for eight years, I was sort of a caregiver for my handicapped brother. And now he's staying with my sister so that I can have a little me time, a little freedom to go and, and just relax, decompress and enjoy the sunshine, meet new people. Um, and I just, I do it all from this van. I see your whole life, you're taking care of others. Yes. You took care of your mother, you took care of your brother and your children. Yes. My husband died 30 years ago mm. and my children were 10 and a half and eight. And even though I thought at one point I might marry again, that did not work out. And I find I'm okay being alone, being by myself, but I have to have friends. I have to have, I worked every day for 18 and a half years at the last place I was at and have a lot of friends still from there. I've been scared. It, it's, if you're not scared, you're not smart, but mm -hmm. you don't let it control you. If you don't feel comfortable, move. And that's why I have a van instead of a truck and trailer or something else, camper truck thing. My key is right there where I can grab it if I need to get out of bed, walk to the front of my van, put the key in and leave. I'm only nervous because it's someplace new, but there's a certain excitement to that as well. Most of us out here are of an age. There are, are a few younger women, but if you look around, we're all older, we're tough, we're resilient. So I would encourage, definitely, if a woman wants to be free and if they can figure out how to do that in Korea, to definitely do it, even if you do it for two weeks. A lot of women started doing it a weekend or a few days at a time. And now they do it for weeks at a time. Yeah, if they think it about doing it, they should do it. I'm, you know, I don't think I'll ever regret having done it. If there is an opportunity in Korea to do this sort of thing and they are able to do it, they should try it. You know, it's not for everybody, but I, I wouldn't change it right now for anything. You know, you can always change life. You know, I was married, I had children. They grow up and leave you. My husband died. I'm still here. I might as well enjoy what's left of my life rather than sitting around getting old. I don't want to get old, but we all do. Okay, thank you for the comments. You're welcome. <laughs> we, should, we should get Melanie to come out here as well. Come out. Because she's another, you know, she has a house, mm -hmm. but 
she's travels she's traveled far more than i have traveled yeah her yeah. did think she traveled a lot so you don't um, mind to say hello to korean viewers my korean viewers i would love to say hello to your korean viewers hello my name is melanie and i'm from las vegas nevada and i came out here to uh, join the other ladies that i found on a facebook group that um, like to travel by themselves so we all came out here together i have been traveling in my rv about three years now i live in las vegas permanently but my rv gives me the ability to come and go anywhere i want it's fully contained kitchen bathroom bedroom everything i need is right in there at night i can lock the door and feel safe and so i like to travel see new things um, places that i've never been or places that i like that i can go back to again but i just i love it i get to see the world and i know every day i get older and there's one less day to see the world so <laughs> you love so, traveling and meet people i do how many people gather here now right now there are six of us um six? some of the other mm. some of the other travelers went into town but there were six of us here last night and then people come and go why are you guys are gathered together here why are we together hmm. we're social we like each other's company and we like knowing that th there's you know someone else over there that we if we had a question or and then talk yeah. what yeah. what does yeah, it I talk mean, about where they're from where where they've been hmm. you know, what what they've seen where they want to go why are they know? here hmm. you know the same things that you want to know or same van same it's so same you you guys have same common things yes very common. it's a common yes. it's a common thread yes hmm. that pulled us together yeah but usually i travel by myself new people or if you just want to go off and see new things by yourself you can do that too so mm. it it's great love it we like you said we're so diverse here i don't think we could see it all in a lifetime no it's a big yeah. country and there's a lot to see come on over yeah come, <laughs> come over when, when they let see. you visit again <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, You're welcome. You bet. You're welcome. Now, could you introduce about your rig? What year is this? This is a 2020.5 Winnebago Travado. It's on a Ram Promaster 3500 chassis. This was brand new. Uh, Mine is not. Mine is 2016. So it's five years old. Five years old. And you bought yours used. Damon, how much you purchased this? You, it was expensive, even yeah, for I know, yeah. here. Mm -hmm. um, I paid $123,000. Include tax? Uh, did that include the tax? No. No tax. Mm -hmm. um, the tax was another $12,000. Yeah. Washington state tax is terrible. <laughs> and, um, I'm living in Washington. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, all this talking, I'm not used to it. Um, so, I, I had a house. I sold it. And I paid it off. Because I didn't want to owe anybody anything. Mine, I paid 67000 2016. And so, it's not that much more than a car. Karen, so why, why did you decide to buy a brand new one? Because I, I couldn't find a used one, and I figured I deserved it, to be honest with you. I worked all my life, 50-some years, and why should I leave my money to my children, mm -hmm. or child, or grandkids, yeah. and, and I wanted something nice, and yeah. these are nice. And it had all the bells and whistles mm. that over the years I denied myself. Um, I think now, you you had a good decision. Yeah, giving you a good one. Your whole your life you took care of everybody. Now it's time to take care of yourself. Yes, yeah. to, to give a little good. bit to myself. 
Okay. You know, that mm. sometimes that sounds selfish, but you did good. Okay. <laughs> you did nice. You did wonderful. Yeah. Okay. Then okay, so now it's around. You, you sure? Yeah. I mean that because it's fully contained. Mm -hmm. um, it has. I don't know if this is unlocked. I have. You can see. This is just a protection I put up so that I can keep the heat out. Mm -hmm. Is it magnetic? Yeah, well, it, we made it. My brother-in-law has an upholstery shop. Okay. So, yeah. This is when you have electric, you can plug in. Okay. And I have a, the mm -hmm. extension to plug in. Mm -hmm. Propane, mm -hmm. so that I have a stove and a heater. The, these are, you know, your... your Solar. Yeah, your... Tank. No, it's the dump. Dump, yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah. sewer dump, yes. <laughs> yeah, and then you have connections to hook up to water, city water, or just put water in your tank. Mm -hmm. The Silver Stuff product called Reflectix, yeah. and it helps keep the van cooler mm -hmm. uh, by reflecting the heat back out. Yeah. And this is just a thing to help wash out the black tank. Mm -hmm. It's called the sanitary fill. Mm -hmm. And of course, that's the dump. Mm -hmm. And it's quite easy. Everybody worries about it. But it's easy. It's, it's not, not hard. not stinky. Not hard. Uh, well, it can be a little stinky sometimes, but yeah. it's but really it's not, not hard. Yeah. It's, it's natural. Yeah, yeah. There we go. It's natural. Yeah. Then on the back of mine, we have a ladder, and I put my chair here when I travel. Can I climb up a little bit? Oh, sure. Yeah. Thank you. Ladder. Okay. Did you want me to here? I'm okay. okay. <laughs> Thank <Got> you. Got it? <laughs> sure. So I you, can do it. You have solar panels. I have 230 watts of solar. This one comes with solar. Come with it. Backup camera. Yeah. Uh, a hitch to be able to tow, but mm -hmm. it's you can't tow anything too heavy. You tow something? No. Nothing. I, mm. The whole idea of a van was to be small. Okay. And and inside, mm -hmm. I, I'm not the neatest person in the world, so forgive me. But this is my life and the way I live it, right? Thank you. It's, yeah, it's a screen that, screen that comes with it, but mm. back here is your bathroom. See, I've got everything stowed back here right now, but you have a bathroom. It's porcelain. Yes, it is oh. porcelain. Wow. Yeah. It's a luxurious. <laughs> yeah, it's not plastic. <laughs> to me, it's cleaner. I can clean it and disinfect it. Mm. Plastic kind of discolors maybe a little bit. Mm. But this particular model has what they call the back bathroom. It's a wet bath. Mm -hmm. So I, there's a shower curtain I can put up and I can take a shower inside. Like I say, I wasn't expecting to show it or I would have tried to clean it up for you a little more. But it's okay. They understand. You know. And this is my cable, my extension that I hook up when I have power. Mm -hmm. And... This so I can wash outside. I can wash my dog, wash my shoes off. Oh. You know, all Auto that kind shower. of stuff. Yeah. It's my pure water hose and this is my dirty hose. Mm -hmm. You know. I, I I don't worry too much about germs, although I do get concerned about COVID. So we're trying to be safe. I mean my son yeah. died from a virus, so it's oh. it's something to avoid if you can right and then it has an awning which we can put out Very wide. Yeah, and, and 
no poles. No need pole. It, yeah. Yeah. But it has this uh, sensor up here, mm -hmm. so if it gets too windy, yeah, it will go in so that it doesn't oh. pull your awning off. Nice. But the outdoor speakers. Outdoor speakers. Mm. Right, and and you know they have. That coaxial cable. What's this one? I don't know. I haven't used solar, any of these. Solar panel. Yeah. They're you know, and then panel. then your regular. Mm -hmm. I haven't used any of them. No need. Mm -hmm. I I haven't needed to. This right here is why I had no issues. I think it's because I have what they call the Pier Three uh, management system. It has a lithium ion battery pack and it's commercial grade. The engine has a second alternator uh, that charges the battery as I drive down the road. So as long as I drive about an hour every day, um, or every three to five days, I have power. I don't have to plug in. And then these windows are acrylic. You can see it on the one back there. They're awning style. Mm -hmm. And I have a screen here that comes down. See I envy your screen because you don't I have don't, a screen. I don't have a screen, so oh. every time I fight with mosquitoes, oh, no, flies. No. I will show, show you. Yeah, a very cheap way for a screen. Okay, yeah. ten dollars. Okay, come on. <laughs> yeah, thank I'll you. Show you mine afterwards because oh, it's different. Thank it's you so different. much. Shadow, go out. You're in the way. Out. <laughs> Good girl. Because I live here, mm. I have it stuffed full of a lot of stuff I probably don't need. I mean, I've got every look, nook and cranny stuff with things because it's been hard to give up my house and all the stuff I had accumulated. But, you know, I'm making it work and as I realize I can let that go, I'm, I'm getting rid of things. So I have what they call the K configuration. It's two twin beds. Hmm. That make into a big bed if you want to. Aww. See, I'll show you. It has it has these bars that come across. And, whoops, did I? Sorry. And then I have a board. Now this I made. You be, made? Because the, the table hmm. that came with it was just too heavy for me. I couldn't, I couldn't handle it. So I, I had this, got this little board and it fits like this. Hmm. My cushions. Did I ask? Oh, no. My cushions come in here like this. And now I have a big bed. And this, okay. I have stuff there because there's no one else with me. And so I just pull it up to put the stuff there. This is where my dog sleeps over there. Mm -hmm. He sleeps over there and I put my feet there and you know. Mm, good. My dog always kicking me out to the yeah. corner. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm in here, you know, I just, I usually lay like this, you know. This, mm. this is, then I got the whole big bed, right? But what do you want, Shadow? Otherwise, when I travel mm. and I'm just stopping for the night, mm. I don't make up the bed. I just I just sleep over here. Mm -hmm. You know, it's nice and long. Yeah. You sleep. So that. You know, and, uh, like lots of storage. Mm -hmm. I have my my cereal and the dog's food all up here. Yeah. Um. This, this is AC. Yes have a max air fan it has a remote control yep i yeah. keep that whoops keep that right here so yeah. i can maybe i can turn it on there we go and it 
goes up. And it has various speeds. So mm -hmm. it's on 60% right now, but now that's 100. So it gets a little loud, but it'll... Yeah. And uh, I usually don't have it go that high. Same as mine. Nice one. But I, it has it has the automatic function. And your kitchen. Yeah, my kitchen. It's small. But you know, it's it's a big sink. I was yeah. getting ready to go to town, so I I put all this stuff in there so it won't fall around fall off. Mm-hmm. This is my workspace, but if I take this off, so because it's glass, mm -hmm. I put this on it so that if I dropped something, yeah. it wouldn't break. This is it's a microwave convection oven. Okay. The and I just store stuff in it. Because I have this lithium power, yeah. I can plug this in and boil water mm. quickly, like okay. in 10 seconds. But, and uh, then, yeah, yeah it just, it's very it's, new, very new, yeah. Yeah, and it's... There's a little... Uh, there's, it's there's junk space, everywhere, space, so... Yeah, and then you have... We add this. I mm -hmm. added this for a little more storage. This was a, a modification. Did, I'm not sure I before? did the best job, but mm. it's in. Yeah, it's nice. You know. Yeah. This just came with it. And when I want to have the door open, but I don't want people to see in. Ah, it's I a just, cotton rod. <laughs> yeah. Good. You know, you put it on there and then I, I take a, a mm. big towel I have and put it there. Yeah. Uh, you know, most everybody's different, I guess. And then a little countertop here. Actually, the seats turn around. Oh, yeah. And this has a. I did the mod. This has a uh, tabletop that comes out. Oh. But the seat needs to be moved in order for it to come out. Mm. Um, like I say, I have so much stuff. Yeah. But that's you, I'm what they call a lounger. I like to lounge over here and eat. Ever since my family's been gone, I, you know, just don't go to the table and sit down and eat. I, I'm lazy, I guess. But this is my messy little home, you know. It's not. It is. <laughs> okay, Karen. Thank well, you so much for showing your welcome. beautiful home and then introduce everything. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. I really very... appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you need to uh, send me a coffee when it's done. Thank you. I'll let you know my YouTube channel name. Yeah, yeah, yeah so good. I can go look. Okay. Um, yeah, mine is older. It doesn't have solar or lithium batteries. It has propane and a generator. I am simple <laughs> and I don't use a lot of electricity. The heater is propane. The refrigerator runs off propane. And once in a while I'll fire the generator for something. But the battery runs pretty much everything I need. I just don't use a lot. Um, I don't use a lot of electricity, but it works. So, um, you saw it. the outside is pretty much the same. I don't have a fancy awning. I have an awning that goes out when I push a button and it goes back in when I push a button. But everything's not as fancy as that, but everything works perfectly for me. That's that important. exactly what I want. So, mine has a different layout. I have a kitchen yep. and a dining set here, and this will make into a bed. The table goes down and there's cushions and so two people can sleep on that bed. Mm -hmm. it, it's kind of narrow, yeah. but it can work. And um, the table will come out 
And if you turn those seats around, you can sit five people. Mm -hmm. um, I don't usually have five people in here, but you can. And that's the water tank underneath here. So when I close the door, there's a cushion and you can make a little lounge here. And you've got the TV there you can watch. And then I have a different kitchen. My kitchen is sink, propane stove, big refrigerator. Yeah. Big refrigerator. Microwave. Yes. Oh. It fits lots. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Very big space. <laughs> Very big space. Yeah. Much bigger than mine. Really big. Yes. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can eat a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Um, storage up here. And then I have my bed here, which two people can sleep on. Mm -hmm. Couples couples sleep in these and live in them. But my favorite thing, and I'll have to move my pillows here. So my favorite thing is the storage because this bed flips up. Wow. And then I can put a kayak in here. Kayak? Yes. Also. Oh. You can open the door and the kayak will go all the way through here. Mm. So There's I have a That's spare amazing. tire, I have chairs, a table, yeah. everything. You can put lots and lots of things under here. I like it that I can have this wide open mm. to go in and out, to move things in and out, bicycles, kayak, whatever you want to take with you, you can put in here. Mm -hmm. And then my bathroom, it has the shower that you can hook up there, mm -hmm. um, yeah. everything, everything mm. I need. <laughs> so I just roll out of bed oh. and roll right in the oh. storage there, storage under here. Yeah. There's Good. a little storage on the side for yeah. toilet paper. Yeah, say so you can take a shower in there. Yeah. Um, so what I wanted to show you personally was, look, my door. All you have to do is get, it's called garden netting or mosquito netting. Mm -hmm. And I have a Velcro strip up here. And I just hook the strip up here. And that keeps the mosquitoes out. It keeps all the bugs out. Wow. A little, You're so you can smart. Still go in. Oh. And you put it, I sewed it on, but you can probably either glue it on or tape it on. Um, if you were in Las Vegas, I would make you one. You know, that's what you meet people. When you travel, you meet people. Yeah. You, you can meet people. people from all over the world. So, yeah, exactly. It's yeah. fun. Yeah. It's fun. You never know. Every day is different. Every day, Every is, day different. is different. You never mm. know what it's going to be. And I think that's awesome. I think it's awesome. Let's life is awesome. Life is awesome. It is. Yes. Yeah. It and be. enjoy your life. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm. Loving it. I. Mm. I couldn't be happier. Don't make your life miserable. No. Like mm. I say, like you said, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. That's it. Yeah. I'm blessed. Yeah. Very much. Yeah. You so, guys are blessed. Well, yes. Especially I, here. Yeah. 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 Well, I said I I hope I hope more people get out and do it. I really mm. do. You you'll find either you like it or you don't like it, but I love it. I love it. I'm and with we're, her. We're glad. <laughs> we're glad you, you came out and we're glad you're traveling. I'm so happy yeah. you're doing that. Yeah, well, and me then, too. And getting a perspective of America that people in other countries, they only hear and see what the news people are sharing. And I, I am not sure that we always get represented in a true light. You know, it is a land that's diverse and full of wonderful people and wonderful country. We have our bad things too, like what happens in the big cities and stuff, but uh, you run out of battery. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. Just go. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet it got tired. Goodbye, thank Goodbye. you. 
Nice talking to you. Me too. Nice to talk to you yes. guys. <laughs> it's not a motorbike and it's electric. Bike. Electric bike? Yes. And I made the cover. Yeah. No dirt. Well wow. I haven't I haven't been out to How much ride is it? it. How much? Hmm. Uh, fourteen ninety nine plus tax, so about seventeen hundred dollars if you buy it in Washington. Seventeen hundred dollars. One thousand seven hundred. Yeah. yeah. A little pricey. A lot of electric the, bikes are more pricey than that. Yeah. yeah you can get the for two. Okay. Yes, they do make. Right. 